Do you think you're addicted to video games? I've actually asked myself this numerous times, and I found out that the answer is yes. I came to this conclusion after many years of defensive arguments with anyone who suggested I may have spent too much time escaping reality through gaming. To me, not only does video game addiction exist being that there have been numerous cases of people playing for so long that they die from exhaustion or cardiac arrest, but I am, or at least have been, addicted. Now, I'm not crying out for help or anything, although help is available. There have been Rehabilitation centers created primarily for gaming addicts, with call centers and full in and outpatient treatment programs. Now when I first thought of making this video, I was going to compare video games to hard drugs like shooters being cocaine, fighting games being meth, and MMORPGs being heroin. But even though these could be great punchlines, the correlations are completely blown out of proportion. Video games are not hard drugs, and they aren't even close because they don't chemically alter your mind. They just create a combination of audiovisual and tactile stimulation. But when I say that I'm addicted to video games, it's because I have used them to avoid responsibility and alter my state of mind enough that it has at one point or another directly affected my life. And even the lives of those around me, mainly anybody that had authority over me when I was a teenager. My response to basically any question or command was, hang on, I'm in the middle of a game right now. I still use this excuse sometimes, because I fucking love of video games, but in my opinion, that's the difference between enjoying something and becoming addicted to it. Now, I have a job. I know, shocking, right? In fact, I only keep it around so you can tell me to stick to it when you don't like my videos. But I wake up well before my shift to get a couple games in. That's not really a big deal. The real problem is when I say, all right, just one more. Even though it's been hours, I still decide I could spend that 10 extra minutes playing. See, that mentality has resulted in me being late for previous jobs in the past. For me, not doing doing basic chores around the house when I was younger, and there was even a time when it affected my hygiene. Oh, and in case you were wondering, the making of this video was undoubtedly put on hold at one point or another because I wanted to play one more. And this is even a channel about video games, where I can now give the excuse of saying, well, I'm playing this game for research. I always feel really good about saying that actually because researching is productive. According to most people I've spoken to, productivity completely negates the negative stigma of addiction. Like if you develop a caffeine dependency to work more efficiently. That is socially acceptable and even encouraged in some cases. It seems to me like the only difference between addiction and profession is how much money you make during the activity. And I was told time and time again when I was younger that no one would ever make money playing video games all day, which is the biggest lie I was ever told. Because now there's many paths you can go down trying to make video gaming lucrative. You can stream yourself playing. You can play a game competitively. Or, even better, you can actually contribute to the creation of video games. And you don't even need a big company backing you if you're a developer, you can release indie games, and they can make a ton of money. But to be fair, the people that said that we would never make money off of video games could have never imagined how many people were actually able to do this very thing they said couldn't happen. And you bet I'm using this opportunity to rub it in their faces. Take that, every grade school teacher I ever had. Although I respect your career choice, I bet you don't don't make fucking seven figures a year from home, but the amount of people making massive amounts of money playing video games is minute compared to the people that haven't made a penny, even from years of total accumulated game time. See, I don't blame video games for anything, I don't think that they're in any way harmful by themselves, aside from extreme cases where they're used for propaganda, where they failed to properly warn players with certain health conditions about content being provided, or if the game was undoubtedly made for a sinister ulterior motive. And even though video games have have the ability to elicit strong emotions in some cases, I honestly don't feel as though any heinous act or act of extreme negligence can be directly caused by a video game itself. It's the person playing that's responsible for their own actions. The MMO didn't make you stay up for 72 hours. The freemium mobile game didn't make you pay $3,000 for virtual currency. And the violent shooter didn't make you lash out at the people around you. It was you that chose to do these things, and you're accountable. Video games are not there for you to make excuses, they're there to be an entertaining form of media. All that being said, there are some side effects from staring at any screen for too long. These include eye strain, blurry vision, headaches. Also, sitting for most of your day has been said to cause cardiovascular and spinal issues over time. So if you experience any of these things that I mentioned, try taking a break for a little bit. Not too long, just a little bit.
Now I know I talked about myself a lot in this video, and obviously everyone is different. I know a lot of people that play video games way more than me, and I know people that play way less or even not at all. But I want to hear your opinion. Maybe you think video game addiction is a real issue and people need to take it more seriously. Or maybe you think it's all nonsense and people just actually need to spend time in the real world. But please tell me how you feel either way on this subject in the comments section. If you enjoy listening to me, open up the discussion on various topics and games such as this one, or if you're a fan of the Games You Might Remember series, then don't be afraid to subscribe. Come on, it's cool. Everyone's doing it. If you want to have a conversation with me personally, then the best way to do that is by joining the Daily Quest Discord. There will be a link in the description, and we also have a Facebook if you're into that sort of thing. Peace out.